Becky, welcome back to my channel. I have another homeschooling video for you guys. This one is specifically about high school. If you guys have a high schooler or if you know anything about high school, you are required to have a biology class in order to graduate high school. And that is no different in homeschool, at least not in our state. You still have to have, um, I believe it's three science credits to graduate, one of which has to be biology. And so that's kind of what I think a lot of freshmen start with. I know when I was in public school, I took biology my freshman year. My oldest daughter has been doing apology of science since fourth grade now, since we basically since we started homeschooling. She's been doing different apology of science. She's done anatomy, she's done botany, she's done a couple of the different animal ones. So um, lots of different um, apologia for their lower level learning. I love apologia because it is a Christian based curriculum and I think that's especially important with science. Not to say that you don't need to know what the rest of the world believes or what they may be teaching in public school because I feel like you need to know what other people believe and feel so that you can use your knowledge and your faith to come up with um, educated arguments. Not to say you're going to argue, but you know what I mean? Like an educated way to defend your own belief system. So I think it's important to know what they think and what they teach in public schools, but that doesn't mean that I want to do that here at home. That's one of the benefits of homeschooling we can choose a curriculum that lines up with our beliefs. And so with science, I feel like that's a particularly uh, troublesome subject because there is so much talk of evolution and things that we don't believe in personally. Um, but then I also still wanted a really, really good curriculum. So uh, sticking with Apologia, if it's not broke, don't fix it, as they say. So we are gonna be doing Apologia Exploring Creation with Botany. This is the second edition. Luckily, we have a very nice friend that let us borrow this book, which saved me about, I don't know how much is this book, like $70, $75 just for the textbook. All I had to do was buy the student notebook, which you don't even technically need, but I've heard it's very useful to have. So I bought the student notebook for her, and I also bought the extra text, the extra test packet because that same friend that let us borrow the textbook, she already had the test answer key. So all I had to do was get the student an extra copy of the student tests and the student workbook. So I'm really excited. This is a big old book. This is a lot different than their typical lower level apology of science books, but I feel like it's gonna be a really good thing for her. This is like her first really kind of hardcore science class. So I'm really excited for her to dig into that. Apologia is a great science curriculum, so I'm excited about that. And like I said, if you are thinking of doing the biology with Apologia, I have heard that you do not have to have the student workbook. I feel it's really important just because, let me show you some things that are coming here. Well, first of all, I believe, yeah, it's got a schedule for you. Now we may or may not follow this exactly, um, but it does at least have a schedule. So I'm gonna look at that and see if that seems like a schedule we're gonna be able to follow. It's got note pages for her to take notes. Could she take notes in something else? Yes, that's not that big of a deal. Um, but one thing I really liked about it was there are questions here at the end for you to answer at the end of each module. There are definitions. I just felt like it's gonna be easier for her to study and um, kind of go along with the curriculum when she's got the notebook. So you don't have to have it. It's not a terribly expensive notebook. I believe it was around $28, $27, $28 for this. So I feel like it's going to be worth it. So I did pick that up. But one more thing I wanted to say about biology in particular is, if you remember from biology class, you are required to do dissections. And homeschooling is no different. At least in our state, they are required to have a lab which is dissection based. I just think it's unnecessary. I think it's mean. I don't agree with it, and I don't, especially at the high school level, I don't think it's necessary, but she is required to have some lab-based dissection experiments with the biology course. And so um, I was trying to find an alternative to actually dissecting things. Now you can um, definitely get kits where you can have everything sent to you. It's not like I'm going out and whacking a frog on the head and bringing it inside. I mean, you can go out and get these things, these kits, that come with everything you need for dissections. I don't think it's necessary. So, thankfully, I did find an alternative to dissections. I wanted to share with you guys. It is a Teachers Pay Teacher store and a website called Getting Nerdy with Mel and Gertie. They make these incredible science dissection paper craft activities. Now, with the Apology of Biology, you have to 
dissect a perch, an earthworm, a crayfish, and a frog. So I'm gonna get the frog one out just to show you. I have all of them printed out here and ready to go. So with each of their kits, you get information. It tells you what you'll need, uh, what you need to know, the external anatomy, the internal anatomy, and it's got your um, words here kind of in bold. And then it tells you what to do. It says, first, complete your table on the key and function sheet. So basically, you're writing down the organ, what color it is, and what is the structure and function of each of those organs. And then they have some questions. And then at the end, this is the million dollar thing. There's actually a black and white version that they can color themselves or you can print out a color version and it's got all of the parts they would see in a dissection are in these printables. And so basically they're going to be cutting out all of these parts and assembling them into a finished sample of a frog. And it's going to be able to be something they can look at and look at each part individually and how all the body parts work and how they function together. And I think, honestly, I feel like she would learn more by doing this than she would by standing around in some lab kind of squeamishly watching as somebody else dissects a frog or a perch or an earthworm or whatever it is. So I personally think this is going to be more educational for her. It's something she's going to be able to keep and we're going to be able to put in her records to show that she did it. And I just think it's amazing. And she loves stuff like this anyway. There's a website that I will print out things for her where it is paper crafting. So you've got these really elaborate three-dimensional models that you put together made of paper and she's done quite a few of those in the past so she already enjoys that type of activity so the fact that it is educational and it goes right along with biology and it keeps us from having to do dissections i think is amazing so i'm going to link the getting nerdy with mel and gertie website and teachers pay teacher store in the description box for you guys they have tons of things like this they have more than just these four they have tons of different activities and dissection kits that you can purchase based on your needs, but I definitely think it's a great option if you don't have the money for a dissection kit, if you don't want to do it just like we didn't want to do it because I think it's mean and gross, then it's definitely a great option to check into. So I will have their store and their website linked below for you guys. I wanted to share this with you guys. I know it's not necessarily relevant to everybody, at least not right now. But if you plan to homeschool and you've ever given any thought to what you're going to do about a, di a dissection lab, I thought I would share this video with you guys to let you know what we're doing for biology and what we're going to do about those nasty dissections. So hopefully it was helpful. Make sure if it was, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my homeschooling playlist in the description box. Every homeschool video I've ever made is in that playlist. So I think you'll find some other videos that you enjoy and that are helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Hit that little notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.